Dr. Félix Derrel holds his place in medical history for the discovery and naming of bacteriophages that he used to combat bacterial plagues such as cholera. Bacteriophages have also been key research tools used by scientists for discoveries in such areas as DNA research. Félix Derrel was born in Montreal in 1873 to a family of French nobility. At the end of high school, armed with a curiosity for the human condition, as well as a healthy travel allowance from his mother, Félix traveled extensively around Europe and South America. His diary entries note of witnessing incidences of rabies and yellow fever that highlighted to him a severe deficiency in the current medical knowledge of many diseases, their causes and treatment. These are the two incidents in his life, in his early years, that probably, and he says they did, propel him, push him to become a microbiologist and a scientist. After years of applying Pasteurian principles on various fermentation contracts for the governments of Canada, Guatemala, and Mexico, Derrel found himself in the fateful position of witnessing a locust plague that would greatly impact and shape his future. They were dropping dead all over. So he got some samples of the locusts, dead locusts, and did a dissection of them. He isolated Cucobacillus from the dead cannabis and started experimenting with the idea that their death was possibly due to the infection caused by Cucobacillus. So in, in that single incident, the, the roots of his two most seminal discoveries can be found. Four years later, Derrel was asked to investigate a severe outbreak of dysentery in a French cavalry unit outside of Paris. He detected, isolated the organism, grew them, and when growing them, he found the same thing which had found in 1910 uh, while in Mexico, that something was causing the lysis of the cultures of this dysentery bacillus cells. He understood immediately what this meant. He understood immediately that this was a virus that uh, could be transmitted and that it, uh, it attacked a particular bacterium and killed it and could be transferred on and on. And it's the origin of the discovery of the bacteriophage that has permitted him to do it better mieux connaître à la suite d'une ex expérimentation beaucoup plus poussée. He actually named it bacteriophage and he also worked out the cycle of bacteriophages, the life cycle, and he also worked out methods of how to measure them and to quantify them. Derrel went on to use bacteriophage successfully in numerous battles against cholera and other disease outbreaks in Egypt and India. But the other side of his invention um, people start to play with these phages to, to uh, study this mysterious secret of life, which, you know, DNA. And then the phages go on and lead us to the discovery of the structure of DNA and the whole fundamental structure of life. So here's a guy who's made one, he's, he makes this uh, astounding discovery in, the, in 1917, which opens up all these other discoveries, and he does it against a monumental tide of adverse opinion. He does it without being able to see what's, what he's actually talking about. He can only deduce, uh, it's just a black box, he's just deducing things. So for all those reasons, I reckon he's probably one of the greatest scientists of the 20th century. As antibiotic resistance factors increase today in the continuing battles against disease outbreaks and potential epidemics, Félix Derrel's bacteriophage discovery stands at the verge of again providing new life-saving tools. Canadian Medical Hall of Fame Laureate for 2007, Dr. Félix Derrel.